Yep, I read the newspaper, guys. It said seven, it was a 71 million acres not planted. Illinois disaster relief, food shortage. Let me tell you, people, not a damn bit of that 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 uh, non-produced -pro crops is food food corn or food. It's all it's all ethanol on the corn side, and. Uh, and who the hell eats soybeans? All they make is cooking oil or something like that out of it. Ain't, ain't nobody eating these damn generic, gen, genetically manipulated soybean foo bar fuckers. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? Ah, look, we're rolling up on Sisney, Sisney, Illinois. Hey, so I'm gonna be off for like seven days. Uh, I don't want to be off seven days, but I got. That's why I'm gonna be off. Um, thereabouts right so i'm gonna stop and get me some liquor some liquor some liquor what's up brother welcome to the club look on your dual sport there i bet he thought that i was on a mini bike too don't you think let's see where's the liquor store hello liquor store where be ye oh there it is it's that beige and blue building down there all right let's go there I wonder if they got a drive-up window. Uh, it don't look like they have no drive-up window. Alright, let me run in here and I'll talk to you guys later. Ha ha, greetings and salutation, fellers. You know what? My videos just ain't been working lately. And I just now discovered that my vent in front of the microphone was open and that might be why they ain't been working so we're gonna give it another try here <sighs> and if the video that i made <coughs> earlier didn't work oh well i'll remake it on some other given day because all life does is repeat itself anyway right hopefully it is working though I don't know how, I think maybe, I think I'm gonna go to a 35 or 45 mile trip. I might be halfway, halfway there. Ooh, that car up there is burning gasoline or something. I smell the gasoline. Gasoline. Hmm, I think there's a song called Gasoline. Oh man, everybody in this neck of the woods, you have two schools of thought. One is the cars that do 70 everywhere they go because there's only like two sheriffs to patrol this whole county. And then all the rest of them that ain't going 70 are going 45. But, I, but see, now I'm talking about them and they speed it up. So, you know, I'll forgive them. Now, we got one coming up behind me here that wants to do 75. So I'll let him go ahead, pass me, I don't mind. You know, it's, it's all in good fun. Boy, this I have a I have this headwind and it's holding me at 52 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, that's all she's got in a headwind. Can you believe that? In the in the previous video, I was doing 59 and 60 miles an hour on the flat ground. But with the headwind, 52. 51, 52, oh, 53, 53, 52, 52, 52. Come on, come on, I think she can, I think she can. Hell yeah, you can do it. Do, do y'all think I should get down here and try to block the wind? I just can't do that. That's the gayest damn thing, and I ain't saying nothing about gay people. I'm just saying it's a gay act to get down there and try to hide from the wind. I didn't even like doing that when I was a young man, but I never had one of those sporty type bikes. Son of a bitch, bug. I should have put on my leather jacket. That's what I should have done, but I didn't do it. Oh, here comes another fast mover back behind me. Let's move over here. Where have all the flowers gone? Yeah, this is just a shame. I can't have this. I don't mind a bike that only runs 57, 58, 60 miles an hour. But I can't have the wind slowing me down to 52. 
I mean, if the wind was that bad, I mean, it ain't that bad, in my opinion. It just, or I would, you know, I'd probably be cold or, or something, right? I mean, it is, a storm is moving in, so yes, the wind is blowing, but look at the trees. Do you see them? I mean, I know that the, the road's a funnel for wind, but it ain't that much wind. Don't even try to sell me on it. If I could just split the metal, I would. Oh, maybe I could design a, a little plexiglass splitter, you know, that attaches to the front of your motorcycle. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. They already did that. It's called a uh, windscreen. Oh, oh well. Uh, too bad. That was a good thought for a minute there. I've noticed through my life that you can invent something and if you don't run out and do something about it right then, five years later somebody else will invent the same exact product and market it the same exact way you would have done, fucking bug. Because there is not an original thought. We're, we're all... I, I can't give you any kind of number. Just a feeling, right? If you're having a thought this moment, there's probably... You know, 50,000 people or 500,000 people having the same exact thought as you at that exact moment. And then sometimes you will experience that whole that light bulb moment, right? That you get that light bulb moment where you just picture something and you know exactly what to do and what this is and all that kind of stuff. Well, I think there's probably another five or 50 people that's having that same light bulb moment and I wonder if that's just the luck of the draw or if our connective electro energy and I think there is something in that I think we're all connected you know that maybe like with even with the butterfly effect or whatever you know uh, sumo wrestler fart, farts in Japan and and you fall off your motorcycle over here right well, why not? Everything's connected loosely. Oh, like, so hang on loosely and don't let it go. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I always love that song. Bring on some foreigner. Oh, I got 54 miles an hour. 54. Yeah, I don't even know if I can speed through this little town up ahead of me. At 51 miles an hour. I don't think I can. Nope. Uh, but I don't care. I'm going slow, but it's still a fun ride. Slow ride. Take it sleazy. That's Fog Hat, guys. Oh, there's a critter in the road up there. You think it's a, a sleeping critter? Yeah, he's just taking a break somebody done stuck him out here and he's like how many people can go by yeah he's taking a break he's gonna be breaking there for a while bless his little heart just, just, just you know what I'm saying I think critters are just wonderful I was watching a video a while ago of some people that were golfing this is really crazy and so this freaky bird and I think it was one of those birds that's moved in in the north those sand cranes or whatever they're called it might have been a sand crane i'm not sure it look, kind of looked like it ran over and took these people's golf ball and then it ran over with it to some concrete and it started bouncing the golf ball it would bounce the golf ball really hard and then it would chase it and go get it and bring it back and bounce it again hell if i can think about it maybe i'll insert a clip from that video right here i'll have to jack it off of facebook and i don't really know how to do that but i'll try uh, if i can't then you won't get to see the sandhill crane bouncing the golf ball but it was quite hilarious i love it that animals like to play and have fun which makes me think about people you know we get old and I still think that we're always children inside because we, even as adults, we have temper tantrums and we do stupid things like a kid would do sometimes. We get 
you can be 60 years old you can be waylaid by a lady looking really good and licking her lips at you just because you know you've still got that inner stupid child in you you know and I wonder you know it, how much of our uh, emotions are all tied up with that inner child we you know we get pouty you, you see how, how how your woman will get mad at you and get all pouty won't talk to you for 24 hours or whatever you know and you want to tell her Emma Jean or whatever her name is right straighten the hell up you're acting like a three year old you can say that it ain't going to help you at all because she's a she's a slave to her emotions as women are well let me tell you I think me, us men are just as well slaves to our emotions also we just uh, a lot of us don't show it as much you know we try we actually try to control it I don't know if they try whatsoever probably not they may not have that capacity but uh, I know a bunch of redneck guys that can't control their emotions when they get a little bit pissed off in the bar or anything else they just lose all control son of a bitch I'm bug stop hitting me go hit somebody else that's got a leather jacket on well, hello farm implement how are you doing doing good ow he hit me with the grain did you feel it i got hit with grain they were like little stabbing knives felt like wheat he hit me with the wheat son of a bitch oh uh, yeah see i over there on the right i might beat the rain i could certainly beat it a lot faster if this thing would go 10 miles more faster but I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. So now I got me a pint of whiskey. I asked the guy in there that was selling me the whiskey. I said, can I have a pint of Jack Daniels? And he says, sure. And he gave me a bottle. And I said, excuse me, but didn't pints used to be bigger? He said, I don't have a clue. I would think the feller's old enough to remember pints, right? Because... Uh, they went, that's the English me measurements, you know, gallons, pints, cups, and all that, right? And now they've went to the imperial measurements, which is liters. I think that's a bunch of bullshit. That's like speaking Spanish, right? If you want to speak Spanish, that's great, but I want to speak English. So, we got the imperial language on the bottles, which has made the bottles smaller. You can, you know, and I'm like, well, which one's a pint? There ain't no pint no more. They don't make a pint. I'm going to have to look into this and see which, which one's closer to a pint. The 7.5 milliliter or the 3 point, I don't know. I just don't know. Right over here in one of these trees, you can't see it from here. You couldn't see it with the GoPro either. You could see it with the naked eye. There is an eagle's nest in that far field back there, that tree. And every year, the eagle's nest, it, it looks like it's big enough to set a Volkswagen rabbit, or a Volkswagen, up in the nest right now. And what's going to happen is he's going to keep, or she, or them, they're going to keep piling wood in that tree, and eventually it will break the tree. And, and you know, maybe kill the tree. I don't I don't mind. I think I consider death by eagle to be natural causes if you're a tree. So I'm not, you know, trying to be a tree hugger. We got, if you look around, we got some trees over here. Matter of fact, if you need one, just let me know. Hell, I'll, I'll send you a tree. I'll email it, fax it, put it in a box, whatever you so desire. I'll get you a damn tree. We got them growing everywhere. See, there's a tree in the fence row and another one and another one. Uh, need some corn? Give me a holler. I got corn out the ass. Birds! Flight of birds! I can't... Would you be surprised if I traded off my, my Honda Rebel and got me a Grom? Would you really be surprised? Because I really wouldn't be. I mean, I'm really kind of liking this. I still feel like I look like a a dork on two wheels 
Don't start calling me a dork on two wheels now. Well, if you feel like you need to call me a dork on two wheels, go right ahead. It don't hurt my feelings. I've always said you can call me anything you want. Just make sure you call me for dinner. Well, something's dead over there, and it smells really bad. And if you're a female, you should call me. You should just call me baby. That's right. Just call me baby. That works wonders. Well, I don't know what's hanging around here dead. It's not me. I don't have the gas or anything else. As you can see, I'm not... Look, it, it, this thing was filled up. I used a little bar because of the wind holding me back. I, I said that, that this this uh, grom was the, the wind beneath my wings today. Well, I've got to take that back. At the moment, I got wind in the face. And it's uh, really slowing me down. Hey, but I'm getting ready to get crosswind because I'm going to make a right-hand turn right up here. And uh, maybe I'll be protected from some of the wind. You guys know what that is, right? That's my Jake break. That's my Jake break. You're probably wondering, where you get a Jake break eight on your motorcycle, baby? It is in, it's born. I mean, it's it, it's in my mouth. I got a Jake break. Don't you have a Jake break? Wee! That, the, uh, when I'm riding the Rebel, I mean, the Rebel will, it will actually do well over 100 miles an hour. I've only had it up to 79 miles an hour, but it will, in my opinion, because I'm only holding it at about half throttle at 79, I think it would easily do 120, but it's never going to see 120 with me on it, because I swear to God it wants to blow me off, you know? I mean, I need a seat belt to hold me on and a backrest. I, not me. If it had a little tiny windshield, I, I might be able to duck by down by. I didn't do 120. Not that I want to do 120. Speed kills, and so does so does bombs. I don't want to mess with either of them. I might make a bomb occasionally. If you guys ever mess with Tanneth, I've been thinking about getting me some Tanneth and blowing some stuff up with, you know, I, I, well, shoot, shooting it, right? Shooting it and blowing it up but I don't like things that go boom. But I think it would be a cool manly thing to do. I just don't like to make things go boom. But I know how to actually make some fucking explosives. But we're not gonna do it. I think it's just a good thing to know how, you know. I think you should know how to do all kinds of stuff. So I learn how to do everything, at least in my head, you know. I know what the books say, or this and that says. Oh no, here comes a big truck. I hope it's not one of those Earl, Earl El Elberson trucks there. Man, I could tell y'all a whole story about that company. They really are, are big thieves. I mean, I got them on cock lock. I, I should tell that story one day. No, it's not them. All right. Yeah, that's a real good story. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all that story. It's, it's, but not today, because I'm almost to the house. And it is quite interesting. I did a bunch of um, investigating on this company. And uh, found out some awful, awful things about embezzlement. Well, they were actually stealing. They stole, I think it was $20 million. And uh, they, well... That's what they got caught stealing, right? And they're never going to get it paid back. But that t they took that $20 million and they invested it in trucks and trailers and built their built the company. It was quite uh, a terrible thing. I can't believe they got away with it. I couldn't believe that the court didn't make them sell their business. But that's something we'll talk about later.